it's interesting when you think about this from in two different buckets. And so there are high performing teams and then there are high potential teams. And so on the high performing team, the things that they might be doing are all the things that make sense. They're producing long form content thought leadership. They have a paid engine that running that's optimized. They're fueling across multi-channel mix. They have the low, they have a acceptable CAC. They can scale. Like those are the type of things that a high performing team would be seeing that at the high potential team, which I interact with a lot, the high potential team needs a adjustment and strategy to move them into high performing. And I think that a lot of companies have a lot of people that have the right skills and whether it's because they don't know or because the company creates artificial barriers where they actually can't do the things that, that would be make them more successful, whatever reason, need a adjustment to move there. There are a lot of smart there are a lot of smart people, smart, capable people out there. And for whatever reason, it's when it's about putting the pieces together in a way that make the most sense that I think it gets gets lost sometimes a couple things that i think companies are are confused on is that is how much they invest in sales headcount as a replacement for good demand generation or revenue marketing or whatever you want to call it it kind of goes full circle there companies must have i would say that most companies have at least 50 percent more sales reps than they actually need to make up for their lack of demand and marketing. And then they have to continue to scale their sales headcount to make up for the marketing lack. And when and then over time, the organization almost gets stuck. Like they, they at some point the, the budgets are so imbalanced that the marketing team can't even get back on track. And that's where you end up with companies that lay off 600 sales reps because they have too many and and it and it just doesn't it i'm obsessed with the idea of making something work on a small scale before you scale it and a lot of companies don't do that like when if if your google adwords campaign doesn't work at 10k then why are do you want to spend 250k on it it's not going to get better when you spend more if if you can't have an acceptable CAC payback on your outbound SDR team and your sales reps with three each, then why are you going to go to 30 each? I, I have companies that come to me and they say, we want to spend $100,000 a month on AdWords. And then I take the budget and I end up spending 10 and get them better results than what they were when they were spending 100. And they're mad at me for not spending the 100. Go into companies, it's like, oh, we had 250K, so we just put you know, 100 on AdWords and 150 on LinkedIn. It's like, well, you're only selling to a thousand accounts and five people inside of those accounts. So on LinkedIn, you only want to hit them four times a week with ads. And so you actually should only be spending whatever, $6,000 a month on LinkedIn ads, but you're spending 150.